All is right once again in 12-year-old Olivia Osborne's world. I love him. I mean, it was hard to be without him. Olivia was without Reggie, her Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, for days. Two weeks ago, he and Pete, the family's Brittany, slipped under the backyard fence. A pet is a little more than just a dog, it's a family member. A family that really leaned on one another when Will Osborne was deployed to Iraq. Pete was that glue, part of the glue. So when the dogs went missing, the family went to work. I started driving through the neighborhoods. Driving up and down streets, posting signs all over the neighborhood. I walked, my brother took the bike. Two frantic days of searching. You're afraid. We have coyotes um, and uh, they're mountain lions. Then someone told them about a phone service for lost pets. This is a lost pet alert. Your neighbor will lost two dogs. For a fee, lostmydoggy.com will call hundreds, even thousands of people in the surrounding area with a recorded message describing the pet and contact information. If you've seen either dog, please call 877. Within hours, lostmydoggy.com cast a far-reaching net. I am five miles from where Pete and Reggie were last seen. Residents here, like Jody Chisholm, got the call. They said that your neighbor, Will, has lost his dogs, and if you would call his number, if you know where they are, they gave the number, they gave the website. So I did look it up on the website, just out of curiosity, and there it was. Will had pictures of the dogs. It was really, it was a neat little, you know, ad. And effective. I immediately began receiving phone calls. Uh, people called in and said, I spotted one of your dogs. I spotted both of your dogs. They moved the signs to where the dogs were spotted, miles away. I would have never gone that far down the road had I not got phone calls from people saying, your dog was spotted at this location. A contractor found Reggie and called the number on his dog tag. But Pete was still missing, and the Osborne's phone kept ringing. Calls were coming in more specifically, I'm, I know I saw your dog. It was the call that would bring Pete home, nine days after the pet alert went out. He had heard the call earlier, but had not seen the dog. Eight miles from home, the Osborne's put up another sign. And the next day, the words they were waiting for. He said, I think I've got your dog. The Osbournes have reinforced their fence, and Reggie now has a GPS tracker. We had a lot of people helping us, and it's amazing um, how kind and helpful people are if you just if you just ask them. New technology and old-fashioned kindness, bringing a family back together. Deborah Napkins, Five Eyewitness News.